Welcome to our Ver Verisys video series. My name is Rob Snauert, and today I'm going to talk about three controllers that connect up and are used for uh, VAVs or changeover bypass systems. I'm going to talk today about the bypass controller, the ZEC310, and our ZEC410. So our bypass controller is strictly used on a changeover bypass system as the controller for the damper to relieve pressure. So its sole purpose in life is to control the pressure in a changeover bypass system. Our ZEC310 controller is also used on changeover bypass uh, systems and it is used for zone dampers. So these would be pressure independent boxes or just basically dampers, round dampers that are in the duct. Our ZEC410 series is used for either VAV or changeover bypass system. Um, it's for VAV controllers, and the difference is with it is it does have pressure ports to, cal to calculate flow and be used for a VAV box. So our zone damper and our bypass damper do not have pressure ports. The uh, hardware for the three devices are very similar minus this pressure port that is added to the ZEC410. So I'm going to go over that hardware really quick uh, to talk about some of the things that when you set it up and how you set it up. So first off you can tell there's a power port up here. There's also an address switch which this sets the address of what what address it is on the zone bus of the zone coordinator. These controllers wire up to that zone bus and only that zone bus. It does not wire to the system controller and they specifically wire to the zone bus of the system that is delivering the air to the box or to the dampers. The address switch is uh, a uh, binary switch. So you'll see a 1, a 2, a 4, an 8, a 16, so on, so on. To set the address, you turn on the uh, switches to add up to the address you want. So in this case, I have switch number 2 and switch number 8 are on. That means that the address of this controller is 10. Other parts to the hardware are the zone, uh, the zone or SA bus. The SA bus here wires to the thermostat and it'll communicate to our net sensors. Our FC bus, again, connects to the zone bus. And next to or in between is a switch called an in-the-line switch. This gets set to on, in this case we are on, because there is one cable coming into the controller and that's an indication that you're not an in and an out, you are truly the end of the line. So this is the last controller on that bus, so therefore this needs to be switched on. Other parts to the hardware are, there's a manual override switch. What that manual override switch does is allows you when you push it in to move the actuator. This is pretty important so when you take this controller and you set it on a damper and you take the collar and tighten it down you need to make sure that this can manually move by pressing this button because if you cannot manually move it then this actuator is not going to be able to control it either. So um, one of the items that, or when I'm setting up a uh, system, a changeover bypass system or a VAV system, that I like to do is you get it wired up. So I've got it wired up. I don't necessarily need to power it up. In fact, I like to take and unplug the devices and then manually make sure that the damper is open so that way I've got some air. And then I set up the zone coordinator, I set up the unit, and I set it up to where it will talk to the smart building hub. Then once I've got air move, moving in the duct, then I come back to the VAV controller or the zone controller. I plug it in. And then I get out my phone and I will connect up to the smart building hub and at the device, I can physically check it out and set any kind of parameters that I need for that controller. On a ZEC410, 
which is a VAV controller, there's several parameters. There's probably about a dozen parameters that need to get set up for each VAV box. So there's multiple ways to take and set up a VAV, uh, set up those parameters. Um, you can do it through either a balancing stat, which looks a lot like your net stat. That'll allow you to set that. We also have a, a display that can connect up into here. But really your simplest is to just take your smart building hub out of the cradle and use your little uh, spongy cord and connect it to the bottom of the net stat. And or you can set it to the net stat or you can plug it into one of the ports here. Then you can take your iPad or your phone and you can connect up there locally to your smart building hub and set those parameters. So that's a quick or an easy way to set up a VAV box. You can also do the same thing with the ZEC and you can do the same thing with the bypass. So that is your hardware for the zone, the bypass controllers, the ZECs, and the 410s. And that concludes this video. Thank you.